Hello, researchers. Latest trends in humanities studies in this uh, series today, we are going to see the other important uh, genre of petrofiction. So this is the area where many people, you can work, many people uh, have not started working on it. So this is, would be the nice field for you to explore as a new field. So petrofiction, first of all, what is this petrofiction? Petrofiction is a term used to describe a gen genre of fiction that focuses on the production, extraction and distribution of oil as well as its cultural, political, economic implications. So it is surrounded with oil. That's what petrofiction. What are the uh, uh, major principles of this petrofiction? First one is exploration of oil as a central theme. As obviously this talks about oil, so that will be the central theme. So it, uh, it tried to explore the impact of oil on various aspects of society, including politics, economics, culture, and the environment. Second thing. It focuses on geopolitical implications of oil. Because of oil, what kind of implication has created in geopolitics? Every one of us will know about the Arab countries. Because of oil, how they have the overall uh, ambient, political ambient changed, how do they influence? You have, every one of us will know. So uh, the petrofiction often examines the geopolitical ramifications of oil production and distribution, including the effects of resource competition, conflict and diplomacy. Every one of us, we know about Iran, Iraq war and other, uh, what you call civil wars in the Arab countries and even the superpower, political superpower, US and trying to control the Arab areas, all these things come, no, because of geopolitical, geopolitical ramification of oil. So everybody wants to take control of it. That's a reason. So this will be the another important thing. Third, examination of the impact of oil on the environment. So previously we see we have seen politics, geopolitical situation, economical, but here on environment. Many petrofiction works explore the ecological impact of oil extraction and production and the consequence of resource depletion. What kind of dire damaging effect this has created has been explored by a lot of petrofiction writers. It leads to a lot of other issues like what you call pollution, environmental degradation and complete depletion of resources. So this is the third important component in the petrofiction most of the writers they discuss. Fourth one, critique of the power dynamics surrounding oil because it has a lots of power. Today, the country, all the countries, they are becoming most powerful based on their oil wealth because that is the deciding factor. So, petrofiction often critiques the power dynamics surrounding, uh, dynamics surrounding oil, including the relationship between oil companies governments, the public, and the exploitation of resources and people in the pursuit of profit. So how it has become pure materialistic aspect, what way it has degraded, what, what way it has given benefit as well as the other, other way around. The fifth one, attention to the cultural significance of oil. Wow. Because the cultural significant oils including its influence, the influence of oil on art, literature and popular culture as well as the ways in which oil production have shaped the national and global identities are also discussed in petrofiction. These are the five important tenets you should use uh, generally the petrofiction writers, the petrofiction uh, deals. Overall, petrofiction is a genre, genre that explores the cultural, political, economic and ecological in, implications of oil and the critique the power dynamics 
surrounding oil production and distribution. So it is the oil is the core in petrofaction. And who are all the experts in petrofaction? Who are the author? There are many, but I list out some uh, two, two, three, four, five authors. I let me list out one is Arundhati Rai, the Indian author and political activist known for her novel The God of Small Things, and other works and other works that addresses the impact of oil and other extractive industries on societies. He has widely discussed these things in her work. The next important author is Michael Economides, a Greek-American petroleum engineer and an energy expert known for his work on oil and gas production and the economics of energy. Third person, Nimmo Bassi, a Nigerian environmental activist and author of Oil Politics, Echoes of Ecological War. A critique, this is the critique of the impact of oil production on the environment and human rights. Fourth important person, John Carroll, a British scholar and author of, Petro, author of Petrofiction and Natural Resource Narratives and the Formation of the Modern World. This is the work name. And the study, the role of oil in shaping modern cultural modern culture and politics. Fifth one is Annette Kahn, a British film scholar and the author of The Power of the Image, Essays on Representation and Sexuality. This is a study of representation of oil in film and visual media. So he mainly deals with visual media. Sixth person is Susan Sontag, Sontag American author and critic known for her works on politics culture and the media, including her essay, Oil and Spectacle, which critiques the representation of media. Representation of the oil in the media. And another important author is Amitav Ghosh, Indian author. Uh, he is an author of The Shadow Lines and other works that explore the impact of oil and other extractive industries on society and culture. He widely discusses the ramification of this thing and uh, these are the few of the experts in the field of petrofiction but there are many others who have made significant contributions to our understanding of the cultural, political and ecological implications of oil. So this I have given a base introduction you need to explore if you want to dive into deep and I hope if it is be it will be useful for a beginner to understand what is petrofiction who are the important authors and I will catch you in the next video. Till then, bye.